Hey guys, I'm back in the shop. Uh, I've got my brother's 2017 F-150 and it's got a rear end noise and I'm gonna let you hear it and then uh, I'm gonna see what you guys think. I want you guys to leave some uh, some comments. Let me see what you think. Uh, I got a pretty good idea what it is already. Um, being around enough, building enough differentials and repairing them, I already have a pretty good idea. But you always be wrong, so we'll find out. I'm gonna let you listen. This is a pretty nasty noise. Uh, this is, from what I can tell, this is a, uh, oh, they call it something, but it's basically, it's just an 8.8 uh, rear end. It's the new version or whatever of it. And I know for a fact, the most they changed from what I understand was uh, they lightened it up, make it better for fuel economy. Uh, I don't know if they did anything to make it stronger, but uh, he tows a camper with this and possibly pulls a little too much. So I'm wondering if that didn't cause premature failure, but it's hard to say. So uh, now I'll set the camera up and I'll disassemble it. Yeah, we'll just we'll see what we uh, what we find when we get it apart. Ring gear looks good. From what I can see, the spider gears look pretty good. Pinion gear looks good. It's the locking differential wiring. I'll go that there. I don't 
see anything that jumps out at me. So we'll just pull the axles out and then we'll pull the carrier out and then we'll pull the pinion out. Okay guys, you watched me disassemble that uh, rear end. I got the uh, carrier out, the pinion out. Pinion fought me a little bit, but that's pretty common with that. So uh, it is what I thought it is. And if you look right in here on that race, that pinion bearing race, the metal's just breaking away all in there. Let me zoom you in real quick. That's pretty common on these Ford rear ends. I don't know why they do that, but the races uh, just wear out pretty quick. Um, the what's weird is you come over here and look at the bearings might be too bright there we are and a lot of times when that happens the bearings get worn there's one right there it's got a little rough spot but normally you get a lot of bearings that are worn out there's a little bit, but these are not chewed up very bad. Considering how bad that race is, these are not bad. So, what it needs is uh, pinion bearings, and since we're there, 
I'm gonna do carrier bearings. It's my brother's truck, so a set of bearings in this isn't gonna hurt. Uh, I don't see any reason why we can't reuse the pinion gear and the ring gear. It all looks really nice. It's got a nice pattern in it. Nothing out of the ordinary there. And the uh, spider gears look good, look normal. I'll just get a set of bearings for it and pinion seal, crush sleeve, fluid. I'll probably put in new axle seals because I saw a little, little junk in that axle seal there. The axle bearings look good. That axle shaft looked good. No marks there, but we'll. Uh, but I'll, I'll get new uh, axle seals just in case there's any junk in them. Uh, now's the time. It's a lot easier to do it now than, than uh, after we've already had it torn apart once. So, anyway, I will get all those parts and then I'll take you along with uh, putting it all back together. Uh, the nice thing is, since we're reusing, well, I'll most likely get Ford bearings just because uh, getting uh, a bearing kit aftermarket, the bearings may not be to the same thicknesses. Not that they're bad bearings, but the nice thing with the Ford ones is I can retain all the factory shims, and this rear end should be set up uh, with the same contact and everything pinion. Um, depth and everything should be no issue since I'm putting the same bearings that it originally had in it. Uh, do I suspect that those bearings are junk or anything? No, I've put a lot of bearings in, in rear ends for something like this. This could be um, be all kinds of things. Fluid may have broken down a little quick. Uh, porous bearing race. Um, I don't know. I bet I bet somebody in the comments probably knows exactly why these bearing races fail. Uh, if so, that person needs to comment. Probably an engineer. Probably can give us a little insight. Um, anyway, I'll take you along whenever I get all the parts. See you later.
Nice and quiet.